So I just wanted to show you a little bit how my throne has come along these past few weeks. So I finished adding the plaster and like the details to the outside. And then I added these little cutout hearts and the uh, diamonds and stuff. After that, the last thing that I am going to be doing to it is I'm going to be adding angel wings to the back of the chair. I already have my angel wings, but I want to do that last because I'm actually using like real angel wings and I don't want to get like any material on them, so I'll be adding that in last. So, by now I've created the Facebook event for the exposition. Um, this is the exposition, God is Woman, that I'm curating but also showing stuff in. So if you guys want to come, I'll put the link to that down below and you can like see this in person. I'm doing a collaboration with the sound artist, which I think I've already spoken about. So, yeah, today I'm going to do the resin coating and uh, just wanted to show you guys how it's coming along. Oh yeah, this is like a good example, is when you put the coating of resin on it just it'll look like a really glossy like this piece all right so that's what's on the agenda for today and then tonight i'm going to um an abba party which i'm really excited about i love 70s discos and like any chance <laughs> to basically get dressed up so i'm gonna go with that with like a group of my um like expat friends so i think it's gonna be really fun so i'll work on this and then we'll go maybe I'll, like film some of that tonight i think that should be really fun so yeah, let's have fun, let's make art, let's have fun, let's make...
had to leave the mission early because it was really pointless. You see, different. Can I ask you something? Did you change? When well, I, I have to see the human being cultural exchange event. It kind of makes me feel sad. It reminds me of Jimena. Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where? Okay. Where are my glasses? I'm gonna wear my purple glasses tonight because we're about to go to the ABBA party, you guys. Actually, we're not going straight to the ABBA party because I'm gonna go over to my friend Celia's. We're gonna have dinner at her house. Um, I wish I had like some more flare pants, but I have like these purple, these purple ones that I guess will work. And then I'm gonna put my big blue furry coat that I've had that actually like my host mom gave me when I was an au pair. So this is the coat, it's so extra. Actually, it's supposed to be worn with like the blue on the outside, but I wore it so much over these last like eight years that the fur actually started ripping. Um, so I wear it like reversed and it still looks cute because like the collar has popped out. It's so funny because like when I first moved to France, like I had no good winter clothes to wear. And now I feel like some of my best outfits, like my favorite clothes, are like my big coats, like my face's coat and things. So I do get excited when it's winter time to like break out like the fun outfits. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's head out to ABBA. You are the dancing queen, young and... Oh, here we go. Welcome to Celia's kitchen. Welcome to Cooking with Celia. Tonight we're making Mexican rice from our heads that we've never made before. And just seeing what happens. Can't wait to see what happens. But actually, I already made it yesterday and I'm just heating up the leftovers. I know that it's good. Tell us a secret. I am saucy. I am a Venus in Scorpio. Je suis déguisée. C'est soirée déguisée? Oui, je m'attendais pas. Ok, if you lose it, you're going to buy me a new cowboy hat. Say I won't lose it. I yes. promise. Je promets. <laughs> But I will not lose it, don't worry. You're gonna be in the show that's coming yes. up. That's a good song for it. She's showing film in the show. November 26th to 29th <laughs> in this place in Paris. In exhibition. this place? It's a, there's lots of nuns there and it will be cool though. All the nuns are gone, unfortunately. They were so sad to leave. Oh, they had to move out? They had to because their congregation had diminished. Oh, shit. So like there was like five of them. in this that same, like bummer? Yeah. But wait, I think it was really inspiring what you were saying about your bass stuff. Like, you, she started oh, the bass okay. during quarantine. <laughs> you can tell that they tried and it's like in a bowl. This is like French people really trying to have queso, but it's like you can literally uh, taste that it's in a bowl. They're like, here's some cheese. Oh, but you put on the nachos, not bad. Yeah, just so chew it up. Anyway, I was saying that for a long time, <laughs> we know I felt you, like, like I wanted to surround myself with musicians because Sorry. I love that they're hot. They're hot, they're <laughs> talented. No, but I just like, oh my god. Last night a DJ was, just did my life. That was honestly <laughs> super, super. Now that I've made you wait, so here's your tortilla. Mm. And I can make more if you want more tortillas. Sorry, this is like a really like, embarrassing, like, look at my dead ass, like, crumbly tortillas. I was 22, 23 years old. I was spitting the tea. love you, like.
is this thing on? All right, all right. It's that time of the video again where Shayna sits down and says that she stopped filming. <laughs> she stopped filming the vlog. Hold on, where is my, my little stand that I need? So yeah, we were at Celia's and we were going to go to the Abbott night. That didn't end up working out, but it was still a fun night anyway. And um, yeah, what else has been going on? Unfortunately, like this always happens where like, I'll start a vlog and I will be filming things and then I just end up, I end up like being so into the actual moment that I forget to like catch you guys up on stuff. But yeah, anyway, I hope all of you guys are doing really well and this November, like this sort of season getting into the colder months is, isn't is treating you too badly. I feel like oftentimes when we transition into the winter, it can be like a little bit difficult. Um, I just always try to stay busy. This morning I did a vision board. This vision board has been like six months in the making because I had to source all the images and then I kind of realized I made a podcast episode about this um, on my Patreon page, but my last vision board, everything, almost everything came true, but I feel like the big mistake that I made on my vision board before was that I, in some regards I was a little too vague. Like I would put up a picture of maybe like a scenery that I liked and I would just put like faith or like gratitude, which is good. But I really tried in this new vision board to be extremely specific like in my old vision board one of the things that i wrote it was to create a community around youtube like this was before i had a youtube channel um and i think because i was that specific about it things it actually ended up working out because i was seeing these images every day um so in this new vision board i tried to be extremely specific about the things i wanted um but it only really works if you resonate with those things if you feel like you are on the same plane as those things in this moment. For example, if I wrote like, I don't know, $5 million, I don't think at this stage that that amount of money resonates with me or that it's even something that I would necessarily want in my life. So try to be specific about the things that you actually want and write them out in a way as if it was true in the moment. For example, I wrote out, um, publish a book of my stories like a short story collection maybe like <laughs> my paris stories i don't know that's, that's something that i've been wanting to do for a while i feel like i'm a little young for a memoir but yeah like i tried to be extremely specific so that's why it took me so long to do so i just spent this week every morning working on it a little bit and i just finished it this morning um and it makes me so happy because i feel like in the past, on my vision boards, I might not have dared to be so specific about the things that I wanted or to say that I really think that I'm on the same plane as those things. Um, and also, putting together a vision board. <laughs> this is the content nobody came from for, but I'm totally giving it. Um, creating a vision board actually helps you see what's important to you in this moment. Like when I compare this vision board to my other vision board, I feel like my other vision board, it was a lot more vague because I wasn't sure about certain things and now this vision board is a lot more goal oriented with specific goals. So I put on there, I make others feel loved and others feel and connect to my spirit as well. And it made me really sort of like reconnect to my purpose and why I do what I do. And it's because I want others to feel less alone. I want others to be inspired by my journey, um, whether that is really vulnerable shit or, you know, trying new things, following your dreams, taking the road less traveled by. But most of all, I just want you guys to feel loved and like you have a friend in me and that this is a safe space for you guys. So that's something that I really reconnected to on my vision board. Um, so that's something that I did this morning and I also got specific about like style and stuff because I feel like oftentimes we can get in a rut with our clothing style. So I made like this whole bag of clothes that aren't resonating with me anymore and that I'm gonna give to some of my friends. Um, and this, I just like got creative this morning. And these are like fishnets that I had and I just cut a hole in the crotch and I just put it over my head. I know how to do this. And it makes like the perfect crop top because it like ends here. And it's like perfect with like 
of high-waisted baggy pants. I love that right now. Um, I feel like now that I have short hair, I really like to play with the whole like androgen. Is that a word in English? Yeah, it is. Androgen. Anyway, androgen um, and a feminine sort of contrast. I think that's really fun. Um, so I know how to do this and you can do this with anything like any tights that you have like if you have like white tights spotted tights any sort of tights you can cut a hole in the crotch and you can put it on your head and make little things and it's like super fun for layering because I feel like it's really hard to find tops that are like very snug and um just like cute you know what I mean um, so I know how to do this because when I was in Morocco, I feel like my OG palace family will know this. I was on the dance floor and I was wearing these green pants. I actually have them right here, weirdly enough. And these were my favorite high-waisted green pants. I just, I lived and died for these babies. On the dance floor, I cut them. I mean, I didn't cut them. I ripped them because I dropped it too low. And my friend Mai Tain, who I was with, he said, why don't you just like put it over your head and make it into a shirt? And it looks so cool. I'm not gonna put it on now because I don't feel like it. But just to tell you guys, I think it's always fun to reconnect to our desires, our dreams. And I feel like what's really special to me is because I, I my first real vision board I made in like 2017, I can look back now and see how things came to fruition and what things didn't, what things didn't really resonate with me and what did. And I think that I'm going to keep all of these um, over the years and I think it would be really cool to see how I grew in confidence to be able to say like, okay, I am resonating with this certain thing and I feel like I can get specific and ask for it. Um, so yeah, definitely vision board and take your time with it, you know, like you don't have to just like randomly cut things out. I love like sourcing images on Instagram. Like I said, this was like six months in the making and also why I'm not going to show it on camera because it really is so specific and personal. Um, and it feels like very sacred to me. So if I inv ever invite my friends over, I'm just going to hide it. <laughs> I'm just going to hide it under my bed. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't know. Still working on the exhibition. I'm actually, the Facebook uh, event is going live today. Um, I'm excited about that, um, and I don't feel like anxiety about it, like I have a lot of things to do, but I think that like I just keep trying to like reconnect to my true purpose and it's not to have like the most successes in my life, it's just to enjoy the process and after this video I'm gonna go get a croissant and then I'm gonna sit in a cafe and drink coffee because that's, I want like, I heard this quote the other day and it's like, how you spend your days is how you spend your life. And so I think that oftentimes like I could get caught up, you know, caught up. <laughs> I could get caught up in like the work and like, I think it's important that at the end of my life, I really remember slowing down and doing small, simple pleasures as well. Um, and doing things that excite me, bring me novelty and shake things up a bit, you know? So anyway, I just want to leave you guys with that. Um, and I love you guys so much. I will see you in, I feel like I have like the weirdest accent in this video. I'm like, I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video if you made it to the end. Right, our visions are coming true. Okay, love you, bye.